DSP tries it. What's up, everyone? Phil here. Welcome to a new episode of DSP Tries It, one that we were not planning on doing, in fact. Uh, we headed to our local Taco Bell to get some grub, something quick today. We didn't have a lot of time. And they had a new item on the menu called the Cheesy Core Burritos. Now, I'm going to be honest with everyone. I had no clue that they were this big. They only cost $2.29 each. I think it was a little over three for like a combo type thing. Too. Yeah, the combo is only like three bucks. You would think, oh man. Three twenty nine. dollars Yeah, if I'm gonna get this, there's no way it's gonna be anything big. You know, I thought it was gonna be like a small little mini thing. And it ended up being full size burritos. All right, there's two varieties. The regular cheesy core, and then there's the spicy core. One is supposed to have like just cheese and rice and stuff, while the other one apparently has uh, jalapenos and that kind of stuff in the middle. And they are supposed to be double decker, like there's a, a layer upon a layer. So it's like a core of cheese, <laughs> but like there's stuff on the outside of it. I don't know, it's interesting to me. Um, so I got each one of each because I thought they were gonna be small. And now here I am with two full size burritos. I don't know if I'm gonna finish them, honestly. But I do wanna try each one. Um, this one, all right, this one's labeled as spicy. This one's labeled as nothing, so this must be the regular cheesy core burrito. So, first of all, let's take a look at it. Let's actually see what it looks like in this wrapper from Taco Bell. It looks like a standard burrito. It actually doesn't look any different from a normal burrito that you would get when you go to Taco Bell. Same size, same, you know, dimensions and everything. So, all right, well, the proof will be in when we bite into it and see what the hell it is. See. Now, I just for the record, I got beef. You eat this in beef, chicken, or steak. I got beef. Okay. Hmm. So what do we got? We got an outer layer that has beef, rice, and seasonings. There was also some sour cream in there, which I didn't even know was in this thing. And I think the inner layer is supposed to have the cheese, but I didn't really get to it. I'm gonna take another bite. Hmm. So far, I'll be honest, it tastes kind of like a normal burrito, but it doesn't have like lettuce and tomato or anything in it. This one also supposedly, I forgot, it's supposed to be considered crunchy. I think they put those tortilla chips in it, like the Fritos or whatever but I haven't even gotten a single one yet. Mmm. So that one, I kinda got it. But here's the thing, and I've been saying this about all the products that they put these Fritos in now. They're not crunchy. By the time that you eat it, it's soggy because that's inside a heat, and heat on a tortilla chip makes it soggy. So I don't understand why they advertise it as crunchy when it's not, but now you can actually see the inner layer is cheese with the chips. The outer layer is the beef, the rice, and the seasoning and some sour cream. So I'll take one more bite. Mmm. Mmm. That was the best bite because I got cheese in that one. So I had to take four bites to even get to the cheesy core of this burrito. And I'll be honest, it's not bad, it's, but it's not great. You know, on burritos, I like lettuce and tomato. I like fresh ingredients. And this just tastes like, you know, condiments in a wrap, honestly. Um, not too great. Now I'm curious, let's see the variation. That was the crunchy, cheesy crunchy. This is supposed to be the cheesy spicy core burrito, all right? Already looks a little different. Look, this one actually has some seasoning that was coming out of the side, and I wonder if it's gonna be spicy on the outside as well as the inside. All right. Mmm. Immediately, I got a jalapeno. That's pretty good. I actually like this one with the jalapeno in it because it's not a super hot. It has a little bit of a burn to it, but it's the mi more milder jalapeno. And you got the tanginess of it, the flavor of the pepper. 
with the other ingredients. It looks like it's identical, actually. On the outside, it still looks like it's the lettuce, or not the lettuce, excuse me, the rice, the beef, and that, you know, sour cream in the sauce. Um, let me see if I can get to the actual cheesy core. Not yet. This one tastes way better than that one. Just the flavor of the jalapeno itself kicks it up a notch way higher than the, 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 the supposedly uh, crunchy one. All right, one more bite and I'll get a lot of this jalapeno in this one. Mm. There's the cheesy core, which I barely reached. Now this one, that bite was a lot more spicy. That one I actually reached a lot more of the jalapenos, but it's still, it's not overpowering heat like you get at some places. It's the mild jalapenos, so they're actually not that bad. So quite honestly here, I think we have a case where they're selling two variations of the same product, and one is far superior to the other. This one, it's very mild. All you're gonna taste is like a bunch of condiments shoved together, and the added crunch of the Fritos is not an added crunch at all. There's no crunch, they're soggy. They're nasty, they're not, they shouldn't be in a hot product. This one with the, with the jalapenos, it's perfect. It's the perfect balance of tanginess, but the flavor of the pepper with the spice, I like this one a lot. So, on a scale of one to five, quite honestly, price-wise, they're great. You're getting a big burrito for only $2.30. So price-wise, they're both good. This one is far inferior. I'm gonna give this one only a 1.5 out of five. It's it's not very tasty. Just it's like condiments. It doesn't really have the complete package, and the Fritos are soggy. This one is actually pretty good. I'm gonna give this a 3.5 out of five. Doesn't blow me away. I wouldn't go to Taco Bell just to get it, but it's a good alternative to get like jalapenos in your wrap and to have a little bit of different ingredients. And it tastes really good. It actually complements itself well. And again, for only $2.30 for a big burrito, that's not bad, that's a good value in my opinion. So 1.5 for the cheesy crunch, uh, cheesy core burrito, and 3.5 out of five for the spicy core burrito. That is it for DSP Tries It. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you, I recommend this. You're gonna go to Taco Bell, check this out because it's supposed to be a limited time only. You're gonna wanna check it out, it's quite tasty. That's it, see you next time.